everyone, it's Brit. Welcome to another Around the Air project. Back to school will soon be upon us, so today I will show you five easy back to school hairstyles you can quickly make every morning. All you will actually need for these hairstyles is a brush and a comb, some bobby pins for some of the hairstyles, and some elastic hair ties. I'm using these thick brown ones. I usually prefer using the thick ones as they don't get caught up in my hair as easily. And I'm using the brown ones because they're really discreet and you don't notice them as much as the colorful ones. So before we can actually get started with the hairstyles, let's brush out our hair really well to remove any tangles. Let's just comb out the other side. There. Now we can get started with the actual hairstyles. Hairstyle number one is going to be a braided headband over the top of our head. This one's really easy as all you have to do is just lift up your top hair and section off a bit down here. And we're going to divide, oops, and we're going to divide this section into two smaller sections and bring them to the front. And now we can put back <laughs> the rest of our hair. So I've got these two sections here. It doesn't matter if they're a bit uneven. And now we're just going to braid each section in a regular three strand braid. And let's repeat this on this side. And my personal technique at braiding, so I can braid really quick, is that I hold the middle strand down with my index finger and then walk over with my middle finger and pull the outside strand over the middle strand. And then I grab this strand and hold the middle strand down with my index finger of the other hand and again, I walk over with the middle finger and pull that outside strand to the middle. And as you can see, this goes really quickly. And I can braid my hair really fast this way. And once you've braided both sides, you're going to hold your braid at the bottom and then just gently pull out the sides of your braid to give it a bit more volume. If you want it to go a bit quicker, you can just use both hands to gently pull the braid flat. So as you can see, I've already added quite a bit of volume, which is very good as I don't want my headband to be just a thin strip. And now I'm going to do the same thing on this braid. And there you have it. Next you're going to need a couple of bobby pins and now you can either leave your hair parted or you can brush it back. I'm actually going to brush it back and now I'm going to cross one braid over the top of my head and using my bobby pin I'm going to pin it behind my ear. Like this. And of course I'm going to do the same thing with my other braid. Make sure that you put it as close to the first braid as possible. And again I'm going to pin this behind my ear using a hairpin. And there you have it. The braided headband is done. Hairstyle number two is going to be a braided bun. So for that one I'm just going to turn around and first things first I'm going to tie up my hair in a ponytail. The height of your ponytail will also determine the height of your bun later. So for example 
if you tied your hair back in the neck, you would get a really low bun. But I'm just going to go for a medium height bun, so I'm going to tie up my hair about here. And to smooth out any wrinkles or curls or little things that have popped up on the top of your head, you can also use a fine comb to brush your hair back. Next, we're going to divide the ponytail into three equal sections. And then we're going to braid these into a regular three strand braid. Again, I'm using my finger walking technique I showed you in the first hairstyle. Once I've reached the end of my hair, I'm going to tie that with another elastic. And for this you should make sure that you're using a hair tie in your hair color as you might not be able to hide the end of your braid as well as you like to. So next we're going to slide that hair tie down a bit and just loosen up the braid by pulling it to the sides. And if the hair tie got too loose you can just retie it but luckily that's not necessary in my case. So next I'm just going to wind the braid up and then I'm inserting my bobby pins. And make sure that you hide the end of the braid as much as you can by pushing it under the bun. And there you have your braided bun. For hairstyle number three, you're going to need to part your hair down the middle or in a zigzag. I'm going to do mine down the middle. So I'm using the end of my comb to get a straight parting by just running it down the center of my head and just to make sure that everything worked out, I'm going to do the parting again and now it's parted. Now we're going to tie both parts up into a high ponytail about here. Let's just do the other side and let's try to get both ponytails as even as possible. Like this. Next we're going to just turn the ponytails and twist them. And while we're twisting, we can begin to wind and twist them up around their base. And once you get to the end of the hair, just secure the bun with a little bobby pin. And as you probably already guessed, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And there we have hairstyle number three done. For hairstyle number four, you're going to section off three sections of hair at the back of your head. Each of these sections you will now divide into three and braid into a regular three strand braid. Once you get to the end of the braid, secure it with a thin elastic. Now you'll repeat the same thing with the second section, which you'll section off as close to the middle of the back of your head as possible. And of course, we're now going to braid the third section also.
To create a more casual look, we're again going to loosen up each braid. Now we're going to loosely coil each braid up into a little rose. which we will secure with a hairpin. And there we have hairstyle number four, an half up, half down rose updo. Last but not least, hairstyle number 5 is going to be a pull through chain braid. So for this I'm going to need to turn around again. And we'll just start by sectioning off a little section right here. And by winding this around two fingers, we're going to get a loop and then we're going to twist that loop like this. So the end of the hair lies beneath this part of the strand. This is important so we don't get a flyaway end of hair here that we can't control. So now we're going to put that loop over our thumb and index finger. We're going to grab through there and get hold of another section of hair about as big as the one we started off with. Again we're going to twist that a bit. And we're going to grab through to get hold of another section. Once we reach the other end of our head, we're going to pull through the last section all the way. And once we get there, we're going to secure this hairstyle with a hair clip or a body pin. I'm just going to use a flower hair clip, like this. And here we have hairstyle number five. So that's it for this video. I hope it gave you some nice ideas for back to school hairstyles. If it has, please give me a thumbs up below. And also, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. See you next time. Bye!